Well, hello, 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 hello. How's everybody doing today? And today I am excited to come to you and talk to you about going for the no. <laughs> you know, when it comes uh, to asking for what you want and playing a big game of your business, like if you're a salesperson and you're looking to sell something, if you're in network marketing or anything that you're doing, um, we have been in our society actually, you know, embedded that no is a bad thing. And I want to just tell you that I want you to wrap your head around where that comes from. And let's go back to when you were a child and maybe you were asking mom um, for that candy bar at the grocery store, or that toy or something, and you're pulling on her shirt straight, you know, hey, I want this toy. I want this. Um, can I, mom, you give me this. And no, no, no. Right. <laughs> and we kind of embedded that into our brain that that is something wrong or that we were bad when we hear the no. Don't you agree? Like that comes from an old conversation. But fast forward maybe to when you're in the eighth grade, ninth grade, and you decide to, you know, maybe you're a guy and you call up the gal or vice versa, whatever, and you wanted to ask them out on a date. And you get really brave. You call them up, call that person up on the phone and say, hey, let's go out for coffee or let's go to a movie. And and the answer is no. <laughs> and what do you make that mean? You make that mean that you're rejected, you're not good enough, that nobody loves you. Whatever these stories we tell ourselves, I'm telling you that you're hanging on to it and moving it forward. And what that does is that's giving you who you're being in the moment as what you heard back as a child, or as a teenager, or whatever those questions and those things you asked for was a no, and what you made that mean. And you guys, that's not true. And this is a game that we're going to go for the no. And you're going to, uh, if you choose to play, um, take 14 days, and I'm going to put a link below this video on a tracker that I quickly made that you're going to make as many phone calls in a day and ask for that. So I have a story to tell you. So Larry was doing um, a golf tournament for the Black Mountain Forestry Center as a fundraiser. And during that time, he was doing this course at Landmark Education called um, Self-Expression Leadership Course. And what that meant was asking, you know, putting together an event and getting a whole bunch of people in the community involved in that and enrolled in the idea of playing full out, like being participant in this uh, event that you created. It could be a theater, it could be a golf tournament, it could be a picnic, it could be uh, a basketball game, whatever you decided to do, you could create this event. And so you had to design this event, come up with the plan, when it's gonna be, all these things. And then you had to call up and ask for sponsorship for it. So the whole game was is to get on the phone, get a list of people together, 100 names if you wanted, right? Let's, let's play out with 100 names on this list. And you're going to um, get, pick up the phone and call them. And you're going to say, hey, you know. So what Larry did is he called these people. He had all these business names and things. And he was looking for a sponsorship for the golf tournament. And he had different levels figured out, kind of, well, maybe not so much, but he first called and said, hey, would you like to be to be part of this golf tournament and bring in a foursome? You know, let's play a golf tournament and it'll be so much fun and all this money that we're going to raise will be um, going towards the Black Mountain Forestry Center. And people are like, no, you know, and he's like, well, that's okay. Thank you so much for listening. And this program was just really awesome. And um, stay tuned. You'll see what we're doing down the road. And he just was so great with the no. And that's part of who you're being about it. Like that no isn't you're bad. You were, you were a bad kid growing up. Or I don't like you. I don't want to go out on a date with you. I mean, he didn't make it mean any of that. And it does take a lot of mindset shifting to work towards going for that no, right? And um, so what is that mind shift that needs to happen? So if we think about, if I were to tell you right now 
that I have two tickets for you. And if you look outside here in Whatcom County, it's going to be raining nonstop for 40 days and 40 nights. I'm sure we'll see an arc flying down the, <laughs> the road. It's turned into a river pretty soon. It's cold out. It's miserable. It's dark. It's, it's winter time here in Whatcom County. And, um, but if I told you that you have two tickets to Hawaii, full expenses paid, and you get to leave tomorrow with your best friend, and um, yeah, and it's free, no, all expenses paid, how would you be feeling? You'd be going, wow, that's exciting. I'm totally lit up about that. This is so awesome. And so you're not in Hawaii right now, right? You're actually sitting in your home and it's all ugly outside. <laughs> and so why have you this great being about you and you're not even there yet? Consider that it's the future that you're living into that gives you who you're being in the moment. And so if you can set the intention before you pick up the phone, and ask people to be part of that golf tournament or ask people to, to join doTERRA and look at their health solutions for them, the natural health solutions, you can really make a huge impact and difference if you set the intention like you are already in Hawaii, like you already have helped these people with their amazing health, or you've already had this amazing golf tournament, you raised a lot of money, everybody had so much fun. And if you set that and be that in the moment when you're making those phone calls, you'd be amazed when you have that no, it's just incredible. So I'm going to give you another example. As Larry was making these phone calls and people said no and he goes, okay, great. And he was being really great about it. He hung up the phone and he called the next person, go for the no. And then people started calling him back. They would call back and say, hey, you know, I thought about it. And, you know, it sounded like really pretty cool. I think I really want to do that. And so then he would say, great, you're going to do a foursome or do you want to be a corporate sponsor and donate, you know, foursome's $500 to be a corporate sponsor, it's $5,000. And they'd say, yeah, let's do a corporate sponsorship. <laughs> and so you can rise up to really not have your limitations be what they're expecting. Like, you know, if I feel like I don't have the money, then I expect their limitations is that they don't have the money. Don't be that. Don't set your expectations and your limitations on the other people. Let them live free. Let them live the possibility. That's what you're creating is possibility for other people. And so I have another story. In the same example of going for the no, making phone calls, this one fella was going for as many no's as he can. And, um, in the process, the statistics say that if you made 20 phone calls and got to go for 20 no's, you would get three yeses out of that. So I want you to shift your mindset as well as, again, not that child that got denied, but as you're going for as many no's as you can, because you're looking and playing the statistic game that if you did 20 calls, you'll get three yeses. And if you did 100 calls, how many yeses is that? That's better than sitting back saying, no, I'm not going to make a phone call. You're denying yourself this opportunity. So anyway, this guy was making these phone calls and he had this event. And this person said, yes, I want. He said, well, it was a, a, a running event. I think it was like a, a, a 5K run or something. And he was saying, would you like to sponsor a runner for this event? And the guy goes, yes. He's going, oh, well, I was expecting a no. So, okay, that's wonderful. Hey, so if you're a, no, a, a yes for this, would you be open to sponsoring a team of like four runners for $500? Well, yeah, I think I could do that. That sounds like a great idea. So sure, yes. And he's going, oh, well, I also have a bronze level, and the bronze level is you get to sponsor a team, sponsor this, you get this t-shirt, you get this and this, and that would be $750. Would you be willing to do that? He goes, well, yeah, you know, I kind of would like that, all those things. It sounds great. So, yeah, I'll do that for you. Okay, so I still haven't got a no. Okay, so how about the silver level? Would you be interested in hearing about the silver level? It does this, it sponsors two teams, it does this, and you get all those extra things, and you get front row seat at the event. Oh, wow. Oh, and you get your logo on the t-shirt. That sounds pretty awesome. I think I could do that. And, and so um, then he goes, well, what about the gold level? You know, the, and he's making this up as he's going because he's surprised on how easy it was for him. See, we live in the intention 
of the no already being there and we make it feel, make it be like we're not good enough. We make it all that. That's already in our space. So shift your mind like this fellow did. He shifted your mind, his mind, and he realized that if he shot, you know, for the gold level for $10,000, I don't know what it was, but um, would you be willing to sponsor it? And the guy says, oh, that might be a little bit out of my budget. So um, I think I'll pass on that. And the guy goes, you kidding me? I've been waiting and trying to get you to say no through this whole time. And it's just really, really kind of funny, right? So the whole game around this is just to have fun. Like, so if you think about this child who was looking for that toy or that candy and mommy, mommy, give me that candy. And you go, no, 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 quit bothering me. Um, to playing. Like if you can really start playing around receiving that no and dancing in that ex experience and exploring new conversations around that, I'm telling you, it's going to open the door for so many exciting things for you. This is a mindset shift that you're focusing on and really taking power and empowerment around that. So I would love for you, who's all in? If you're in with this game with me, write down, I am in, and I will make sure you get this tracker that I created. And I would love on this thread, this video, I would love for you to go through and just keep writing out um, underneath how many no's you got today and how many yeses you got today. And I also would like to know what the experience was. So the three things you're tracking, is how many uh, attempts did you do? So maybe you did 30, maybe you did 20, maybe you did 100, right? And how many no's did you get out of it? And how many yeses did you get out of it? So if we do this for 14 days and you track that, your goal is to first, when you first sit down to get on the call, set your intention. What are you experiencing as a child that received that toy or as being in Hawaii? What are you making that mean right now in the moment as play and fun, right? And then get on the phone and start calling. And sometimes you might have to reset during this experience, set the timer, put a goal. It's like maybe you got a half hour to do this today, or maybe you have an hour to do this today and play full out. So I look forward to hearing your responses, you guys, and let's do it. Let's go for the no. Thanks so much for joining me today, Becky Rainey with All In On Oils, and we look forward to hearing from you. Oh, don't forget to like my video, and if you wanted to share with other team members or friends to play full out with you, that would be awesome. Take care.